few very important properties about the absolute value of real number. Number one, uh, the absolute value of product of two real number equals to the individual product of individual absolute values. So let me just try to prove it out for you. So what we are talking about is absolute AB, right? That's what we're talking about, absolute product AB. Now, absolute value of AB should equal to AB, right? Which of course, I can write it as absolute value A into absolute value B, right? So, that is why this thing happens. That is why this property holds true. Now, what happens that if both A and B are negative? If both A and B are negative, then, then AB, the product will be positive, right? It will belong to the positive real numbers, okay? So, which implies that I can say modulus AB equals to AB equals to 1 into AB equals to minus 1 whole square into AB equals to minus 1 A minus 1 B. So, I can write it as minus A into minus B. In e which equals to, of course, the absolute value when A and B are negative, then minus A is A, is the absolute value of A, minus B is the absolute value of B and hence we reach what we started with to prove, okay, what we started to prove. So, hence in this case also absolute value equals product, uh, absolute value of the product equals to product of absolute values, okay. Now, what happens if 1 is positive and 1 is negative? Okay, 1 positive, 1 positive and 1 negative. one positive and one negative. So, we can assume that say you know A is greater than 0 and what happens if B is less than 0. Then what will be the scenario? The scenario will be that the product will be less than 0, right? So, what happens to modulus AB? Now, the product is less than 0. So, what comes out of modulus will be minus AB. So, that whatever we have is, is positive, right? Okay, so whatever we have is positive. So now this can be taken as minus 1 into AB. Okay, minus 1 into AB, I can take it as A and attach minus 1 with B, okay, which is equal to A into minus B, okay, which again will be, which will be essentially your modulus. A into modulus B because minus B is the absolute value, minus B is the absolute value when B is negative, when B is less than 0. So, if at least one of the two number is 0, then what will happen? If any one of them is 0, a, there can be another case when any, any one of them is 0, say A equals to 0, okay, say A equals to 0. So, let me just write down the cases, okay. So, case number 1 is that both are negative, the special cases, okay. One positive, one negative and the third thing that we should probably look into is that what happens when one is uh, equal to 0, okay. If A is equal to 0, then what will happen? Then of course, the product will be 0. Okay, and the absolute value will also be 0. So, absolute value will equal to 0 which will equal to 0 into B which will equal to 0 into modulus B which will equal to basically 
them because this is 0 okay because this is 0 so that's uh, one very important property of modulus 